And there she is. The second bud has finally um, bloomed. She's so pretty. And as you can see here, um, this wilted one to the side is actually the first flower that blossomed. And I was actually hoping that both of them will flower at the same time. However, that is not how it works. Um, I am glad that I got to catch uh, this one blossom. It's kind of smaller compared to the first one. Um, but uh, I am uh, positive that this uh, flower will close um, maybe later in the afternoon. So I had to catch it. And I see here that there's another one here, uh, a little bud here at the bottom, possibly another flower. So I'm hoping that um, this cactus plant is going to uh, flower again, maybe in two to three weeks time. And I think I've seen another one here at back. Where is it? I thought I saw actually um, four buds earlier, but maybe I'm just wrong. So yeah, um, three is good enough uh, for this year because last year I only got one to blossom. So that's fun. It's nice to see like such a rare occurrence <laughs> happen three times this year. Hello friends and welcome to this week's talking portion of Cozy and Chaos wherein I will be journaling or memory keeping for the week that was May the 15th to the 21st and um, I have a lot of notes here actually uh, of what I have done um, for the past week. Today is the 28th of May, um, Sunday and um, this is probably the last day of May wherein I will be filming a Cozy and Chaos episode so yeah. Uh, for this week, um, the 22nd to the 28th, the week that I'm uh, currently in, I haven't been filming a lot because I have been in this hyperfixation with my Animal Crossing. Um, I put out uh, my very first uh, playthrough video um, of me villager hunting and it was uh, very much uh, stressful actually to edit but I had my fun um, it is th that sort of situation wherein I want to try out something new and having been able to accomplish something that I have been wanting to do all uh, this time uh, and seeing how it is well received is uh, actually making me very happy so uh, supposed to be today I was supposed to live stream privately with my friends in college that I um, Sadly, I'm not actually um, eligible for live streaming just yet on mobile. I don't know if it's because of a subscriber threshold or like views threshold. I, I'm not sure I have to like look it up, but uh, so I am filming this now. So I'm very much rocking the uh, teal blue and like the uh, these uh, color schemes because I have here actually three new uh, scrunchies colorway. Well, I say colorway, but um, they are all paired with white. So I will be putting this up on the shop on like June 1st. Um, my Shopee, um, my brother's Shopee account is linked down in the description as always if you want to check it out. If you want to look through other projects of mine, um, crochet projects as well as secondhand books, you can look through there as well. Our shop is mainly um, TCG. But I do have a little corner there wherein I sell all of my products as well as my secondhand books. Um, so these three, actually I have four here. Uh, I only have these three out because the other one is very much not in the color scheme. So I have here, uh, the lighter blue is Ayato. Um, this one, uh, the green one is Venti. This is Wanderer. Um, and the last one, the gray and orange is Child. So these four, um, plus another one, I haven't finished it yet, will be coming to the shop June 1st. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, teasing it right now. Uh, and if you want to get on with that, um, the link, as I've said, is in the description. And I mainly have these scrunchies for um, 
they are inspired by the color schemes of Genshin characters. And I also have like mono colors, uh, a pastel set uh, up in shop right now if you're interested. So yeah, uh, other than that, uh, as I've said, I've been over I've been highly fixated with like Animal Crossing again. And uh, what's funny is that as I was pulling out this page, um, if you know and if you have seen like Cozy and Chaos for the past um, few months, I have been journaling uh, at the back side of my 2022 um, weekly pages. So like if you flip it over, it's like uh, another page another week or another week of the year. And this is... I am not sure if what month this is. I should have written like months, right? But last year, the 15th to the 21st, is actually uh, another like my Animal Crossing uh, week as well. So this is like the time when I first got Animal Crossing and I was looking through this because I have a dreamies list right here wherein I have um, placed here Dottie, Marshall, Raymond, Stitches, Blanche, uh, Phoebe, Picoe, um, Genji, Lily, Custo, Ketchup, Henry, Kid, Radal, Julia, and Snake. The funny thing is that Dati, Marshall, Raymond, Stitches, Blanche, um, who else? Kid, Radal, and Snake have been in my island. So my mainstay have been Dati, Marshall, Stitches, and then Kid and Radal. So five out of this list that I have made last year, which is looking back at it now is kind of amazing that I still have the, uh, that I can look back and see who were my dreamies during that time. And uh, as you can see, my mainstay, I did have to like uh, let go of Raymond, Blanche, and Snake. Um, Raymond, I have a amiibo card for, but I'm currently uh, thinking about maybe getting a uh, snake or Blanche back, but we'll see. Um, I have uh, currently a dreamies list um, that I want to write in, but I think I will be putting that for next week's because um, next week's spread. I mean, because I am uh, my fixation for the uh, Animal Crossing came back on the 22nd to the 28th, not this week, which is the 15th. To the 21st for this page so with regards to like the very blue and the green theme here um, that we have I am going to uh, make this as an inspiration for my theme for this week um, which is I actually uh, went out um, I think it was on the 17th and bought a bunch of like fake Pokemon cards these are fake Pokemon cards that like I I know this is supposed to be not you shouldn't support these sort of uh, things but um, these are the types of like uh, ephemera that I am like willing to like stick inside of my journals and not have to print out. Um, and surprisingly, all of these uh, fake Pokemon cards that I got are like EX and like the um, very shiny versions. So I have pulled out a bunch of like blues um, Pokemon cards. Some even are not in English, and. I'm really just thinking that I might just use Glacion because I have two of them, but I also have two of uh, Latios EX, this one. Um, but the green does not match what I want, so I think I'll just go with Glacion. And I also think that I have like a lot of stuff to talk about this week, so I will hopefully leave a large amount of like space for me to write on and decorate on just one side. I have here uh, my scrap box again and I will just start pulling out stuff while I talk about uh, some things. So in the um, end of the last week's uh, Cozy and Chaos episode, I did not actually talk about the <laughs> thing that happened in the while I was waiting for the doctor uh, or the dentist rather. I was in the waiting room at the dentist for my mom's disappointment. So that is where I ended like last week's video and funny thing is that while we were waiting, it was in the afternoon, um, there, uh, my dentist is actually beside a pediatrics uh, clinic, so there were kids there waiting as well um, for their turn in the clinic, and uh, what ended up happening was that um, this kid uh, in the waiting room was like modeling. She was very adorable actually to look at. She was. Um, at a very young age uh, modeling through the hallways of the waiting area and we were all like amused at how um, fun and bubbly she was and she was speaking in full English um, which at my age I, I wouldn't have spoken that much English at all but she was <laughs> pretty cute she had like um, sunglasses on like a pretty pink 
uh, top and shorts and like little booties and um, her dad was like watching her uh, go around the hallway and she didn't really bother us that much we were like amused because um, at least there is something to like uh, entertain us while we were waiting for the doctor which was like an hour late um, and then uh, there was this other dentist clinic so the clinics are actually like uh, beside each other so there is this other uh, dentist uh, whose clinic is beside ours and when the secretary opened the door uh, we were greeted by a very big um, I, I thought it was a moth at first, but it doesn't have that fuzzy um, antennas. So I think it was really a big butterfly, which is like bigger than the size of my hand. And I was surprised because I was looking through Shopee. <laughs> I was online shopping while I was waiting. Um, I was looking through Shopee and I was surprised because when the secretary opened the door, the butterfly actually flew uh, right below our feet. So I was startled. Uh, pretty much startled because it was um, dark brown or almost black and it was very big so I, I wasn't expecting to see a butterfly in the middle of the city especially um, since it was raining very hard and so um, this kid saw me um, being surprised and she was like don't be afraid as in she, she she really told me to like don't be afraid it's a beautiful butterfly she said that in that exact way and I was like um, laughing to myself of how adorable this little kid is, uh, but also how obnoxious she is, <laughs> but still, um, I was amused. Um, I was bored anyway, so like it was more amusing than it was annoying. So um, this butterfly landed on the top of where we were sitting, uh, which was an emergency light, so it uh, stayed there for a bit. So I moved like forward because I don't know if... Um, where this myth came from i don't know if it's a myth even but there is always this um notion of like don't let butterflies pee on you or else you'll get paralyzed or something like that so it's 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 not really that believable however um if you were uh, told that when you were still a kid it like stuck to you even though you know that it isn't really i don't i don't i didn't even care to look if that is scientifically possible anyway so that's what happened so i moved forward uh on my seat so that I won't be uh, directly below the butterfly if, if in case it decides to relieve itself um, but um, what happened was that the little girl moved um, beside me like she wanted to see how the butterfly looked so she moved forward I didn't pay much attention to her and she ran back to her dad after that uh, it was a bit and suddenly I heard her scream like, I was startled by her scream more than I was startled when the butterfly landed on my back. Like, it it perched itself on, like, my shoulder blade area and was fluttering uh, so much that I was pretty much surprised. But I was more surprised by the scream of the little girl. So, um, in a way, she was, like, screaming and almost cried. And we were laughing because I, I also... Um, could understand or like I know what the other people in the waiting room was thinking was that like a few minutes ago you were saying don't be afraid it's a beautiful butterfly and then now you're screaming your head off because it landed on someone's back and it's like it's very funny um it was like one of those moments where in uh I recall um like insect bugs uh, in general like bees and butterflies so I'm not entirely um, afraid of bees, but um, no, I'm actually afraid of bees. Um, there is this, um, there are a ton of bees actually um, that are in my grandmother's garden. And when I was taking care of the garden while she was not feeling well, there were always these um, very black um, bumblebees that um, go from flower to flower and I know that uh, I shouldn't be afraid of them because they're basically harmless unless you um, be aggressive or attack them as well so uh, still um, I have always been chased by bees for some reason especially uh, during college there was this uh, also a very dark brown bee um, that has been going around in my college when I was, I think, in sophomore year, and we were sitting by the waiting area for waiting for our next class, and uh, the bee just chased me even up to like the what do you call that, the cafeteria or the multi-purpose hall area, and it was a ways away from the waiting room, and it was like, I am not a flower, please don't follow me, um, and my friends are just laughing 
because um, it's just a bee. So why are you afraid? And oh my god, I just realized it's also 15 to the 21st. Well, that's that's a wonderful coincidence. But anyway, yeah, um, it's just fun overall. I just want to put me here, so I will mistake it as the other way around. So yeah, again, I've been chased by uh, very pretty insects and. Good thing I didn't like swat at the butterfly when I didn't realize that it was a butterfly because I of course won't want to hurt it. Uh, it's a, as the kids say, a very beautiful butterfly. And um, yeah, that's my uh, story from the past week that happened. Still, um, the it was good timing as well when the doctor arrived or the dentist arrived because um, the kid was really uh, crying a lot and also the Pedia um, secretary called her in so that she won't be afraid anymore. But still, it's funny. It's like, don't be afraid, and then here she is actually uh, the most afraid of all of us. Maybe she, maybe she didn't realize that um, butterflies can actually uh, go near humans or like land on them. And so I just took a break and write down my entry, and this is the spread. We'll just keep it very simple for now. Um, because this is like a lot of word vomit, but I would like to record each and every detail of this very chaotic week. I did manage to make a mistake here, but we'll just leave it as it is. It's fine. So that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and for watching this video to the very end, even though I could understand if it's kind of boring because um, all of my energies for filming this week have been um, assigned to the Animal Crossing video. I will leave a uh, the links to that in the description if you're interested and haven't watched it yet as well as my um 10 uh anime shows that i've watched for the month of may uh, spoiler alert it was a doozy but uh if you're interested in that as well i will leave the link down in the description and up in the icards if you're interested so that's it thank you so much and i will see you next week so until then guys take care and bye bye